Hi, it's Jamie with UK Extension, and today I want to talk about a common problem, or it's not really even a problem, but many people see it and perceive it to be an issue. In the fall, or sometimes even late summer, depending on the conditions, weather, and so on, um, this can happen late summer, but it's n perfectly normal for evergreens to drop old needles. We all tend to think that evergreens are just green year round, and they are, but they are on a two year cycle of dropping their needles or growth as opposed to the annual cycle we think of in deciduous trees. So what happens is, it's perfectly normal. People look out, they see browning or yellowing of pines and lots of needles dropping. They assume their tree is dying. And there are many things that will take out evergreens and pine trees. Don't get me wrong, they do die for other reasons. But right now, what I want to talk about is the normal fall needle drop. And this is a reasonably good place to point it out to you. But what happens is these needles are grown on a two year cycle. So these are the needles that were produced this year at the tip. It's often on a healthier branch, it would be a much longer section. But you have this year's growth that remains and then everything that was produced last year you can see is falling off right here. And if you look really closely, I'll try to find a, a good example, but you can see at the tips all of this pine is perfectly healthy. Now we're on a shaded side that doesn't get much light and that's why this growth is a little weaker. But you can clearly see where the brown stops and the green begins, that's perfectly normal. As long as you have healthy growth at the tip of your evergreens, this is not unique to pines. It happens with spruces, it happens with arborvitae, it happens with all evergreens, even hollies. So the older two-year-old growth drops. Some things may even have a longer cycle, but the fall equates to needle drop, the new growth stays on, and the trees hollow out. Over time, as evergreens grow and mature, particularly the larger ones like pines and spruces, we ultimately end up with a hollow center. As these grow, only the tips that receive the sunlight can continue to photosynthesize and support the plant. So what we see is these things hollow out and have a shell of green, and this particular fall needle drop kind of leads in that direction. And they're always denser, fuller, and more beautiful as young plants, and then they become more open and um, picturesque with age. So normal fall needle drop, the ticket to look for, or the key that you want to look for, is whether it stops before it goes to the tip and it's often very clear where that line is. So fall needle drop, it's a normal part of fall color and, and the seasonal change, but with pines and things, it can lead a lot of people to thinking that they have a serious problem when it's really just a natural phenomenon.